This is going to be a quick one. Welcome to the Rhythm Studio, where we're talking percussion, music production, and music technology. I'm Warren Henry. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so that you can be notified when we release new videos. That said, let's get into it. In previous videos, I mentioned how feature rich the Warm Audio WA73 EQ is. One such favorite feature of mine is the insert button on the front panel. It allows you to access the insert jacks which are on the rear panel. These jacks give you the ability to connect an outboard piece of gear like a compressor and in a permanent installation you would just connect and leave it. So if you've never hooked up a piece of gear via insert jacks I'm going to show you how. But before we get started you need to say this three times. Sends are outputs and returns are inputs. Sends are outputs and returns are inputs. Sends are outputs and returns are inputs. Let's get started. In this example, I will be connecting a classic compressor by DBX, the 166. I will be using two cables, one red and one black, both quarter inch balance cables. I'll explain the color choices shortly. Step one, connect the send jack on the rear panel of the WA73 EQ to the input of the DBX 166. Step two, connect the output of the DBX 166 to the return of the WA73 EQ. Step three, connect the microphone and confirm that you have signal going to the compressor by depressing the insert jack on the front panel. You see a signal, you have a good connection. Congratulations, you have just connected a compressor via the insert jacks on the WA73 EQ. I've been impartial to DBX compressors for most of my career. I like the sound and the over easy technology. In the comments below, tell me what your favorite compressor is. Hope this video has been helpful. Like it by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. And oh, don't forget to say hello to the family for me. Although you can use any colored cables, I prefer red and black because red helps me to remember what's being connected to the return side. Red, return. Red, return. Hope that helps.